2018, Simone Kearney. <laughs> Drawing for our three, four, and five seeds will be the Western Elite Champion from 2019 from Aiken, South Carolina, Devin Young. The 2019 Eastern Elite Champion from Lakewood, Lakeland, Florida, Brandon Moore. And the 2019 Last Chance Qualifier Champion from Georgia, Najee Lopez. Young will be number three, Moore number four, and Lopez number five. Six, seven, and eight seeds are 2000, from the 2019 Western, hailing from New Jersey, Jamar Talley. From the 2019 Eastern Qualifier, These are the fighters that will be competing here at the Olympic Trials, all eight of them. Here, checking in. Go all the way to the front. Where I gotta go? All the way to the first table. Uh huh. And get them uh, registered, you and the computer. Okay. And then come back. Gotta go register, gotta go register real quick. Get this USA boxing book registered. Like a little tight. Can't breathe, can't breathe at night. All right, you take care of yourself. All right, who's next? Hollywood's next? Yep. <laughs> I gotta That's talk not... to my fans. Yes, sir. Oh, we got registered? Yep. Got you. All right, we'll get you registered up. Mr. Rodriguez, where are you from? New Jersey. What part? Uh, Camden. No, you're not. You know, I grew up in New Jersey, right? Yeah. And I left. Yeah, good luck. All right, here we go, coach. I got it. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You got to make that camera. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I hope I passed the audition. You did, you did. <laughs> you did. <laughs> yeah, thank you, brother. You too. As you can see, we got this USA Boxing Lake Charles man, the Olympic qualifiers, baby. It's a big deal. We here for Jamar Talley, our 201 heavyweight. We got Natalie Dove. So it's going to be a big deal. It's going to be a good look. Y'all ain't know my first name was Freddie. Don't tell nobody, but I'm here with uh, the champ, Jamar Talley. We're going for this uh, Olympic Olympic gold 2020, but this is the Olympic qualifiers. And this is the uh, certificate of appreciation. It's pretty dope. This is definitely going to go up in the, uh, in the office of uh, accomplishments for sure. Real dope. So you got the champ eating. Yes, sir. Day before the weigh-in, how you feeling, man? I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling like you feel me, I can just take over this whole thing, which I'm going to do. You feel me? I, I feel confident. The first two pieces, heart and confidence. You feel me? Um, I'm just feeling good, man. So I'm going to go in there tomorrow, take care of business at 4 o'clock, 4 p.m. Um, now talk to me a little bit about the guys in, in, in the division. You said you're very familiar with all yeah, the I'm guys. I'm very familiar with a couple guys in the um, division. I fought about four four of them so um, everything looking pretty good man All right you're not you're not concerned you already I'm know what concerned. these guys are about I already know your style just ready to get to work you ready, ready to get to work man so 2020 Olympics is mm -hmm. definitely on the horizon you know what I mean? You feeling good? You feeling in shape? You're obviously on way to be able oh, to eat up. this at this oh, time yeah. 10 o'clock at night ladies at night I mean, <laughs> yeah there goes my Before food Jamal Tally. Look at that. <laughs> That's his other plate y'all now I'm playing. <laughs> Alright y'all, let's get to this part. You already know. You already know. It's time to go. We up next. Alright, so the you know, cut to the chase, man. You know, Jamar went ahead and uh he won the first couple of nights. 
here at the Olympic trials. He won the first night pretty easily, the second night pretty easily. He went ahead and he fought a kid from Houston, and he ended up losing a split decision. He actually won on two judges' scorecards all three rounds, and on the other three judges' scorecards, he lost by one point. So then he went ahead and fought again the very next day in the loser's bracket, and he went ahead and he won that fight. And now this leads him right back into the championship against the kid who originally beat him. They are the last two fighters. They are the top two seeds. So they actually fought this fight, uh, you know, and it was actually on NBC, you know, and everything. And Jamal went ahead and he fought, you know, in the championship round against the kid who beat him. So I'm just filling you guys and bringing you up to date on exactly what's happening. And then, uh, you know. So this is going to be championship day leading up into this next scene. So as you can see, we're walking into the championship. Um, the Golden Nugget is where the championships were held. You got Jamar Talley walking in right now. It's about 6 a.m. We are going to the weigh-ins. Uh, he weighs 201, so he has to make sure he doesn't come over that. So we're here early. Can't we're here, y'all. We're here at the Golden Nugget. I got Jamar Talley. We're here in the championship round. It's your boy, Coach Anthony. What's going on, man? Tell me. Talk to us, man. Good, man. I'm over here. You know, I got a rematch today. Chance of redemption. You feel me? So I'm going to go ahead and he's fine. I'm do what I got to do, man, to get that dub. All right. So let us know. Let us know what happened, man. What happened? Well, the fight, it came to a split decision, man, you know? So obviously, obviously the judges, they felt as though. No, um, so you won the first you won the first two nights the then you fought nights. the kid that you're fighting today right they sent you over to the losers bracket the losers you bracket. went ahead and you won that fight clearly yes, sir now you're back in the championship yeah, round against the guy who I beat you on Friday dub. what I do to get the dub is just do exactly what I did last, the last time I fought him but go at it a hundred times harder. right 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 and let the people know how you already qualified on the team just by making it to the championship round I so qualified right now you know we top two you know, we qualified on the team, so. So, that's, we're, that's we're already here. Right so, we, we came here. We already took care now of business. Now, it's time to seal the deal. All right, y'all. We're going to catch up with y'all afterwards. Now, what I do want to say to all my people out there, man, I apologize for not showing highlights of the fight, showing clips of the fight. If you have the NBC app, you could probably go back and actually watch the fight. But unfortunately, man, I was too busy coaching. I didn't have anybody holding the camera, so I wasn't able, I wasn't able to, um, you know, record and work a corner at the same time. So... You know, I'm just giving you guys some B-roll and some aftermath, basically, of how, to, how everything went. So I just want to say thank you and appreciate you guys for watching this far. And uh, let's move along. Walking into the ring for this championship round. This is what it is. Let's work. So as you can see here, I don't have clips of the fight, but Jamar won here in the championship round. Uh, he won a unanimous decision. It was a pretty clear cut victory, even though the commentators on NBC, you know, felt otherwise. I was pretty confident that Jamar won the fight and so were the judges. So he won a uh, unanimous decision and uh, he won here in the championship round in the Olympic trials. Um, which led him to becoming the number two seed in the Olympic alternate here at this tournament. It was fantastic and a great, great performance. Yeah, I'm I'm you don't need to be under the pressure, but they want to see you in Tokyo. Yes. Okay, one more picture with uh, my mouthpiece. Oh. 
It's all good, baby. Hey. Road to Tokyo 2020. It's Mark Tally. It's manifested. It's going to happen. Uh-huh. All right, so we were talking the other day about something you had in your back pocket, right, for the rematch with Darius. I mean, like, what were you doing today that made, made the difference to get the unanimous? What made the difference was I had to bring the dog out of me. You know, in the past couple fights, I was trying to show, trying to show you know, tech, technical, you know, skill, you know, but at the end of the day, you can't rely on that, you know, because in that, in that fight with Darius first time, you know, it came to a split decision. You know, today, unanimous. Unanimous, why? Because I dug deep. And, you know, I wasn't relying on skill. I was just relying on sheer heart and willpower. That's what got the W today. And tomorrow, everything's going to be on the line. I mean, oh, yes. Everything's going to be on the line. You know, really, we're going for the belt. Number one seed, too. I want it. I want everything. I want it all because I feel like it's mine. So we'll take it. All right, man. Appreciate it. Yes, well done, man. Thank you. So for those who don't know a lot about boxing, you went down how many times? I went down at least like two, two to three times. Him, you know, pushed. You know, uh, pushed. Darius is a wrestler. He, he was a wrestler and he, and he boxes. You know, I don't got time for wrestling. So hey, he pushed me down. You know, I've been, I've been coming through a tournament. So every day I'm fighting, I, I don't got the energy no more to be tussling. Like, you throw me down, hey, you want to do that? I'm going to just waste my energy out on trying to hit hard, trying to clear you up. Yeah, I'm not even like a you know, regular fight, you know, those tournaments where I don't fought three opponents, you know, back to back. You don't know, see who's stronger, but I don't have time to even show that. We just here to box, we ain't here to wrestle. Yes, 2015, yeah, that was my first fight. My first fight was at AC Pound, Atlantic City, New Jersey. So I started boxing. This is my father, Omar Tally. You know, that's my dad, that's my dad. He, uh, he he been practicing with me and teaching me since I was like seven years old. You know, we've just been going around. Every time he would ask his friends, you know, how you feel about Jamar? You know, how he look? He looks sharp. What you, what you think about him? Everybody said, you know, Jamar got the talent. He, he, he got natural skills. He got natural skills. So then around like 11 years old, he got me in the gym to professionals, you know? So they could, you know, just sharpen me up. And I could begin to start fighting. I didn't start fighting until I was like 15. So um, just practicing, just, just just practicing, day in and day out. And this is where I'm at now. And they kept telling me, Jamar, he can go to the JOs, that's you know, Junior Olympics, you know, which will bring you to the elite male status, you know. But like I said, everybody kept telling me, Jamar got it. And I just always wanted to see how far it could take me. So I just stayed with it, stuck with it, and look where I'm at now. Have you ever tried other sports? Oh, I tried other sports before. I tried basketball, football, uh, baseball, volleyball. All those came later, you know, like middle school, you know. But I've been, like I said, boxing, practicing boxing, studying it since I was seven years old, you know. So I stuck with that because that's what I've been doing for the longest. So boxing is the best yeah, for you. Boxing is the priority. Yeah. And then after going to the Olympics, are you going to get professional? Yes, I'm a term pro, right after the Olympics. Have you ever uh, get the offer from any promoter or manager? To be honest with you, you know, a uh, manager stepped to me before. You know, um, I just wanted to wait it out because I wanted to, you know, make the Olympic team go to the Olympics. So that's that's where my heart at, and that's where I'm at right now. You know, I'm not worried about you know managers right now. You know, we'll talk to them, hold the conversation, but we're focused on gold. Focus on gold. So yeah. You, you catch their eyes. So yes, thank you, thank yeah. you. So, uh, I look forward to seeing you at tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Jamal man, I don't know Tal what I didn't cover today. I'm pretty sure, Aunt, that was everything right there. Right, right. You know, we gonna end it on that, baby. Jamal Tally, baby. Secured that spot on the Olympic, and in the Olympic trials. Let's work.